thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of the Traveling in Ireland podcast. Today, I don't have a guest because I'm answering a question that I seem to be getting quite a little bit because we're going into gift giving season and I'm uh, fielding emails about how to choose an Ireland vacation um, package. Now, I understand why people are looking at packages because in all honesty, it's kind of nice to have everything all packed up and ready and, you know, good to go and you're all set, you know, one click and done. But there are a few things that you need to know when you're booking an Ireland vacation package. So I wanted to kind of run through that. As you can see on my screen, I've got um, probably one of the most popular Ireland vacation packages that's available right now, which is the, um, the villas at Adair Manor. Now, these, this is a great vacation package. It's got the, you know, the car, the hotel, the airfare, everything's all included. So, you know, it's, it's a really popular vacation package. For those of you who are listening to the podcast but not watching it, there is a link down below in the show notes if you would rather watch the video podcast because I am going to be showing a few things that you'll want to look for. So either take some good notes or bookmark this for later if you want to pop into the video and get a good idea of what you're looking for when it comes to um, your Ireland vacation. So what we're going to, to do today is kind of talk about the things that you need to look for when you're looking at Ireland vacation packages because unfortunately they are not all created equal. So the first thing you want to look for when you're booking an Ireland vacation package is the terms. Now all vacation packages that you that you get whether you get them from a travel agent or you find them online they're going to have terms and conditions. And you want to make sure that you are finding those. So if you see this one, now the first thing you want to know is what's included in your package. And this one is really straightforward. It says um, you have airfare to Dublin, a manual shift car that you can upgrade for an additional cost to automatic, and six nights in Adair at the Adair Villas. So you get a three bed, three bath, uh, full kitchen, living room, dining room for six nights. The travel dates. So you can book six or eight nights with this package and you can choose your travel dates. So while this package right now says, you know, from $699 per person, you need to check a couple of things here. You need to see where is that departure price from? Now, as you can see by looking at this one, the departure price is New York City, JFK. So you want to maybe click through a little bit and see what it, you know what's going to happen to that price if I go from Chicago. Price jumps $150 to 849 So once you figure out where you're flying out of, the next thing you need to check is the date. Now, right now, this $849 per person price is for January of 2018. Well, maybe you don't want to go to Western Ireland in January. Maybe you're thinking May would be better, you know, kind of shoulder season. The price jumps to $9.99. So make sure when you are looking at these vacation packages that you're checking what's included, where you're flying in and out of, and when you're going, because those prices are going to change depending on that. The next thing you want to check is how is this priced? Most are priced um, by two people sharing. So this says um, $9.99 per person. Now you'll see this little you know, asterisk right there, and that tells you there's more. It's right here. Vacation is round trip per person. This one is based on four travelers, not two. So it might be a great package if you're traveling, you know, a family of four or two couples, but it's not going to be that great of a package if there are two or three of you traveling. It just it's not going to have the same the same pricing. So you want to double check that. Um, it also says that it includes airfare and airport taxes, villa accommodations and car rental. 
additional baggage charges may apply. So you'll want to follow through on that link too and find out if you are going to have any additional baggage charges. It's totally going to depend on the airline that you're on. So be sure you know all of that. The next thing that you want to check is, is there somebody that I'm going to be able to get a hold of if I encounter a problem? Now, sometimes when you're dealing with a, um, a vacation package that is purchased online, you're going to find that, you know, that vacation package provider may not be as accessible as you might like. So what you need to do is work through this website. Let's see here. So we come clear down to the bottom on this one. We go through what's included and clear at the very bottom, you'll find your terms and conditions as well as customer service numbers, times of um, availability and um, other ways to get a hold of them. So that would be like Facebook, Twitter. Um, sometimes you can reach people on those, sometimes you can't. But you want to make sure that if there is somebody that you need to contact about a problem, that you know exactly how to get a hold of them. So you want to go into the terms and conditions. You want to uh, read these really carefully because these are going to be very important. So you can see this first very this very first bit under air and land. All payments are non-transferable and non-refundable meaning that if you buy this package, there is no refund on it. And then that leads to another question of, do you need trip insurance for this? And, you know, that's going to be a whole, you know, it actually goes into it below on trip protection. So see, here's trip protection. Now, in all honesty, I would buy my travel insurance from an outside source because a lot of the time, the travel insurance that comes with a vacation package isn't really set up for you. So if you would like more information on travel insurance, there is a link in the show notes. And you'll want to go ahead and go into that. Travel insurance is something I'm going to cover in actually the next podcast because it all comes down really to risk. So until then, pop over to the show notes and um, learn a little bit more about travel insurance if you're, if you're having some questions. So now back to this, you can see that um, air seats are limited, prices are restricted to specific flights and classes of service and travel dates. Um, so there are a lot of restrictions and things in here that you really need to read before purchasing. Um, final payment or full payment, made at time of booking for this package. Depending on where you get your package, they may allow you to make payments on it, but be sure you know exactly when your payments are due, how much they're going to be, and how they are to be paid. Cancellation and change policies. Again, this one, all payments are non-transferable and non-refundable. So again, just be really, really sure that you are reading all of these terms and conditions all the way through. You want to know, you know, what you're doing with travelers who are less than 18, what you're doing with travelers who need special assistance, um, package prices, how they're figured up, uh, visas and passports. Again, this is going to be your responsibility. Your uh, tour company is not responsible for making sure that you have your visas and passports. Um, you know, ready and in hand and making sure that they are valid. So you want to double check all of that. The accommodations that are listed, um, car rental information, a really important part of car, car rental information. This package offers VIP Express insurance. That is something that you would want to take advantage of. VIP Express Insurance means that when you get to Ireland, you will not have any additional car rental insurance costs. It's all going to be taken care of up front. If you don't take care of those car rental insurance costs up front, you're going to find that, you know, before you even leave the airport, you're going to have cash going out to pay for that insurance. It is mandatory in Ireland. You cannot get a car without it. So if you see VIP Express Insurance listed, on your vacation package, go ahead and purchase it. 
It's very, very important, and it will save you time and money once you get to Ireland. Um, also with the car rental, the fuel policy and fee disclosures, everything is in the statement. Baggage allowance, what is not included in your vacation price, refunds, airport transfers, everything is here. Read it thoroughly. I know it's really dry reading and it's not as fun as seeing where you're going to get to go, but this is all so important if you're going to book a vacation package. Now. You've got all that. You've gone through all of these things. You know what's going to happen with optionals, um, excursions, activities, you know, who you're going to contact, how to make sure that you have all your coverages. So you've got all that. The next thing that you're going to check back in the vacation package is your transportation. Now, like I said, we've gone over, you know, making sure you know where your flights are departing from, when they're departing. So as we saw, the flights especially, the cost changed when you changed your departure city. So one thing to really take a look at is not only how does that, you know, change of departure city change the pricing, but also how much are you going to have to pay to get to that departure city? So, you know, New York City was $6.99, Chicago, um, if we take it back to January, was $849. Now, that's a $150 difference, which for me living in the Midwest, it's going to be less expensive for me to get to Chicago than it is for New York. So that $150 is really um, a decent bargain for me. But you want to kind of look and see, you know, where are these flights going to depart from? You can choose, you know, choose the airport that makes the most sense for you and then weigh your options. Um, you also want to note that many vacation packages do not allow you to accrue frequent flyer points and that children don't receive special um, airfare, you know, because a lot of the time if you'll book airfare for children, it will be at a reduced rate as opposed to an adult ticket. So if you're booking a vacation package, you're not going to get that special airfare for the child. So you might, you know, even want to look and see, you know, if I book this vacation on my own as opposed to this package, what are my rates going to be? And and while, again, that's not always the funnest thing to do, um, you'd be surprised actually quite a bit how how much the prices could vary. So definitely make sure you're at least glancing at um, at the flight costs if you are booking outside of the package. And we've talked about uh, the car rental. Do double check that car rental, not only for that insurance, but also check what size of car you're getting. So as you work through this, you're going to um, be able to choose your vehicle. Now, usually it's going to be a smaller vehicle when you're going to Ireland. It, uh, with this package, it'll hold four people, but it's going to be probably about the smallest car you can get. So do be aware, you know, check and see if you can upgrade that car um, or, you know, go ahead and book a larger car. So definitely as you're working through the vacation package before you hit buy. So let's just go through it now. So we'll just say we're going to go through Chicago in, in January. You know, maybe we're going to go to Trad Fest in Dublin. It's great fun. So early January, you can see the prices are higher. Later in January, see TradFest starts on the 24th. So let's say I'm going to go on the 22nd. Um, it's going to confirm that. And then it's going to check the accommodation availability, vacation features, and get the package price. For those of you just listening to the podcast, the computer's spinning to tell me, you know, can I get it for that price of $849? It's still searching. All right, I can't wait anymore. I have no patience. So, ah, there it is. Okay. 
So it actually, yep, $848.99. And we'll go ahead and tell it, yes, we would like to do more. So it shows us our um, travelers of four adults. Even if you're booking for children, they're going to come up as adults when you're booking a vacation package like this. Shows us our flights are on Wow Air, um, overnight flight from Chicago to Dublin. It's going to have one stop since it's Wow Air. It's going to be Reykjavik most likely. So they're really long flights with a layover. This gives us six rooms at Adair Villas. And then it gives us a, a manual four-door full-size car. But it does give us the option of upgrading the car as well as adding that express insurance that we talked about. So make sure that when you're looking at this, it says the car's through Dan Dooley. Hop onto the Dan Dooley website and just check and see, you know, kind of how big a manual four-door full-size car is. Um, if I'm thinking correctly, it's going to be around the size of a VW, one of the smaller four-door VW cars. So not really big, and it's not going to hold a lot of luggage. So do double check that car. If your tour is guided, make sure that you check all of the information on where and when you will be picked up and dropped off and how you will be transported. So obviously that doesn't apply to the vacation package that we're looking at right now. But if you are doing a guided tour, make sure you're checking all of that as well and that you do have a local phone number to call if something happens when you're in Ireland because you want to make sure that you have a local number to get a hold of somebody who can help um, assist you if there are any problems. So the next thing, so we've done transportation, rental car, airfare, and we've kind of looked over our package. So the next thing you want to consult is where is this lodging? Now, like I said, this is one of the most popular vacation packages out there. It's um, a, uh, oh goodness, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a self-catering stay on the grounds of Adair Manor. It's in the villas, so it's not in you know, the Adair Manor Hotel. It's not in that luxurious castle hotel. It's in the villas, which are quite nice. They're very spacious. And uh, you're within walking distance of Adair, which is a beautiful little village. And there's a lot to do in that area. But here's something that's not mentioned in this package. The Adair villas are clear across the country from Dublin Airport. So you're flying in and out of Dublin. Um, but you're overnight in Adair. Now, that's a little bit of a problem, especially if you're not used to international travel. The reason is that is a three and a half to four hour drive from Dublin. If you're flying in from the US, you've flown overnight um, on these WOW air flights, you're looking at an 11 hour flight, not counting the time you had to get to the um, airport before you took off. You're looking at being up for, you know, going on a day. Well, to get in a car and drive for four hours after being awake or, you know, not sleeping really well on an 11-hour flight is really, really difficult. And it's kind of dangerous, especially since you're going to be landing in Ireland. You're driving on the left. You're sitting on the right side of the car. Personally, for this, for this package, I think that you should be flying into Shannon. Now, Maybe this wouldn't bother you. For me, I don't think it's the best choice. So you would want to see maybe if you could do your first night near Dublin. So see if there's a way, you know, if you upped this to an eight-day package, would it give you hotels, you know, near Dublin? We do have the option to upgrade. You know, well, and that only is with breakfast. So it doesn't really give us much of an upgrade. So you want to make sure that you know where those you know, where those lodgings are. Again, leaving, you know, leaving Limerick and Adair, so, you know, again, four hours back to Dublin to the airport doesn't seem like maybe that big of a problem until you realize that you need to be to Dublin Airport about three hours before the plane leaves so you can get through all of security and everything. So if your flight leaves Dublin at 9 a.m., you're leaving Adair at 5 a.m. 
to get to Dublin. Oh gosh, no, you'd leave even earlier than that. So if your flight leaves at 9, you need to be there at 6, and it's a four-hour drive, so you're leaving a day at 2 a.m. So again, really look at where your lodgings are and how far you're going to have to drive to the hotel because that's going to, you know, that's, that's really hard. So do double check that. If the vacation package offers B&B &B stays, do your best to check availability for those B&Bs that you really want to stay at in advance of your trip. There are B&Bs that will book up very quickly, especially around really popular areas like Dublin, Killarney, Doolin near the Cliffs of Moher, um, Galway City will get really, really busy. So you'll want to book those those B&Bs or, or do some checking on the B&Bs that you think you might want to stay in for the dates that you're looking at. And then also some do close. If you're, you know, if you're traveling in January, you might find that, you know, a lot of rural B&Bs are closed. They just don't get that much uh, traffic in, you know, January and February. So they go ahead and close and take their own holidays at that time. So double check those. Uh, for packages that offer hotel stays, check hotel ratings. Uh, TripAdvisor is a really great resource for that. So, you know, check those hotel ratings because while that, you know, that deal might seem really great, it might not be that great once you see that that hotel doesn't, you know, doesn't have really good reviews. Also double check to see if the activities that may be included or available at some of your destinations. See if they are actually available when you're traveling. Again, January is kind, can be kind of a tricky time. Now, Ireland doesn't get the bitter, bitter cold that a lot of places um, in the U.S. get. But, you know, you are probably going to have cold, you're going to have rain, and you're going to have really short days. So some of those activities that you might have your heart set on, like a Cliffs of Moher cruise, those usually don't run in the winter. Uh, if Skellig Michael is on your bucket list, that doesn't go out. They, they quit doing tours the beginning of October and they don't start up again until, gosh, I think it's May. So do that checking into those activities that you, you, know, you really have on your, your Ireland bucket list and make sure that they're even offered during the time that you will be there. And then finally, you want to look at the locations. Again, this, this package that we're looking at um, is centered in Adair, which is in County Limerick. It's in the west of Ireland. It's a beautiful area, and there's loads and loads to do. It's also very easy to get to some of Ireland's um, most popular sites, the Cliffs of Moher, the Rock of Cashel. Um, you could do a really, it'd be a longish day trip, it's a long day trip, to um, Dingle Peninsula or Blarney in County Cork. But those are all doable from um, Adair. But just make sure that when you're looking at the locations that your vacation package is going to take you, that it's near the places that you want to go. Because if where you're going to be based isn't near where you want to go, you're going to do a lot more driving than you want to. And you're going to have less time to spend at the things you want to see. So. Do make sure, you know, dig out an Ireland map, print a map of Ireland off the internet, and just kind of start circling things. You know, circle the places you want to see in red, and circle the places that um, you're going to be staying in green. And, you know, just kind of figure out from there how it looks and, and if it looks like it's going to be doable. So as you work through these steps that we just went through, you're going to easily see if a specific Ireland vacation package is right for you. And to be quite honest, you may find that more often than not, it's just not going to be a good fit. And that's okay. Vacation packages, like I said at the beginning, are really easy and they're made to be easy. But they're also, they, they can have a tendency to maybe not have the flexibility that you might want. And in that way, maybe doing something like uh, you know, a chauffeur driven trip with Ireland chauffeur travel where you can hand pick where you want to go and what you want to see is going to be a better option if you want things all taken care of for you. Or maybe you decide that, you know, you're okay with kind of having a more bespoke trip. 
you know, you want to see what you want to see and you don't want to see other things. And then that's where Ireland Family Vacations comes in because you can plan your own trip really easily using um, our clickable map or you can go ahead and hire me and I will help you build the Ireland vacation of your dreams. So there are lots of options and you may find that, you know, while you're looking at these vacation packages, you get some great ideas. You, you learn maybe about a few places that you didn't know of before or you get a few ideas of things that you would like to do and then you go ahead and build your own trip from that. There is no wrong way to see Ireland. I just want to make sure that the way you see Ireland is the best way for you. So again, if you have any questions, you're going to find links in the show notes. You'll find links on car rental insurance terms you should know. You'll find um, the information on how to choose an Ireland vacation package along with some vacation package operators that I recommend and why I recommend them, what I think is really positive about that vacation package operator. And as always, if you have any questions on Ireland vacations, family Ireland vacations, or traveling to Ireland with a large family group, all you have to do is email me, jody at irelandfamilyvacations.com and I will be more than happy to answer your questions.